ActoSage here on the Sage channel, a sleep art game and eat, and today I'm showing off this big old ship that I've just recently finished, and if you look you can get an idea of just how big it is, if you look in the bottom right, its mass is over a hundred million. So, fair bit, and the reason is because this is a mining ship I'm calling the Goliath, and it has basically everything you could possibly need for mining and processing. In the center of the ship there, actually I get out of the cockpit, which is at the very front there, uh, and run out of the ship down this large main hallway, and I'll explain what's off some of these offshoots down this hallway. You'll see them every now and again. Uh, the lights on the ceiling are actually uh, reflector lights, but currently, if I turn them on, it would probably lag the game of the bits. Down these sideways, there's all these little passages, but if we carry on down this way, those passages, by the way, lead the stuff I'll be showing you in a minute. But if we carry down this way, after an incredibly long run, I think I have made it to, yes, I have, the hangar bay of the ship, where basically these little cutouts that I'm in right now are actually where maybe if higher up people from whatever company buys or rents out this mining ship, this is where they'd fly in and dock on these nice little hanging areas. And that was their airlock there. It's sort of double door airlock thing here, and then maybe just another airlock, just in case they want to store stuff. But And those are also fueling things here, where basically if those small ship's reactors need to be refueled, they can get some more fuel out of these cargo containers. And actually behind them there's conveyors leading down to a lower floor where the whole ship's fuel is stored. So it would pull from that, hopefully. This is the main hangar area where just the smaller mining ships would sit. Below these grates is just open space that I thought was interesting. I thought maybe I'd add something, but considering the stability of the game currently, which is still in alpha, I decided against it doing much down there and just decided to finish the ship off. That is also the reason why the ship is gray. I started painting it, but as soon as I tried to save, it gave me an error, so I had to go back to an earlier save before I started painting it. So, no paint job or the game wouldn't save. Down here we have basically small cargo containers, but these aren't to get the fuel. These are actually for mining ships that want to dock here and empty their payload. They'd land over there, run down here, and drop it off in there. If we were to fly up and actually, really quickly before I fly up and start showing you more, this is, leads back into that hallway. You can see there's lots and lots of doors that lead into the hangar area and also there's these little overlook waiting rooms where maybe people would be getting their spacesuits on or whatever or probably just you know waiting for their shift to come up kind of like a break area anyway if I come out here if I fly up now you can see this is the sort of car or the landing area we just saw there are four of those little enclosed docking areas for higher level personnel and then two of these large areas here now you see those little lights right down here that I'm aiming at, that is where the little ships would get their fuel from. This is another cargo container hooked up to conveyors the same way those are over there. And by the way, these, the drop-off points, are also hooked up to conveyors that lead down to the processing level that I'll show you in a minute. Now this is the main drop-off point. The Goliath would move find asteroids using the uh, large amount of scanners that are all the way up here at the front of the ship. That's what these little things sticking out of the front are, are these ore detectors. So basically the ship would fly about through a asteroid field until it finds a rich asteroid. There'd probably be smaller scouting ships scanning as well since the Goliath couldn't easily get in there. But once they find a large asteroid, the ship would fly directly under it and be able to get a good scan with those and then position the asteroid above this huge, huge, huge catcher's mitt. At that point, all the little ships from over there, which I don't currently have built, but I will be building one of those in a later video probably, or at least showing one off while I'm showing something else off in another video, they'd fly up and start mining away at the asteroid that would be here, and the bits that don't get caught in their drills automatically would funnel through here, and then funnel all the way down this large ramp to the bottom all the way down here, where crewmen down here unless conveyors are later updated to automatically suck up rubble, would open this door and be grabbing it all and putting it into these cargo containers, which go into these conveyors, which go up into this large amount of storage up here. And we, I think we have three, maybe four levels of just these large storage containers that are full, or would be full of just raw materials. Yeah, we got, what is that, five floors? Actually, I think there's another floor up there. I do actually have a stairwell. If you look down, I got railing on each floor. But I do have this 
cross-weaving stairwell that leads all the way up. Yeah, all the way up to the top floor here. And then, of course, if we carry on, that actually leads up to the main hallway again. Now, you can see there's a lot of storage here, so the ship technically could just... My, ooh, wow, I totally spat. You fall down the stairs quickly in this game. It's sort of glitchy. You don't actually walk. But the, it's designed that way. They, the ship could technically just mine out an asteroid and never need to process it. And you can see the conveyors that go along all of the cargo containers. You don't see any attached to those doors there because this actually loops around to the top level above that one and connects to the doors on top of those. Down here we have another set of stairs, so it's another way to get up and down. And if we actually fly down here now... I believe we're, yeah, we are past the refining area. And you can actually see that all these pipes, they all, they go up to that storage there, but then they also lead down to, where is it? They should fork at some point. Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. So they lead down, you know, the storage containers lead, conveyor leads all the way down to here. And actually when they're dropping off the supplies from the mine area, they could automatically just go through here. And they would go into all these refinery machines. And you see the pipes lead, you know, down from there, up from there, go here, lead to the refineries. And then these pipes actually lead all the way down the entire length of these huge refinery things. And there is a door on the bottom of this connecting it to there and the top of this connecting it to there. So they're all set up to be able to drop off supplies into these refineries to be churned up. Now, we currently don't know exactly how refineries will work, but I'm hoping that they can import supplies from any door through the conveyors. Could be wrong, which could mean trouble. Now, over here to the right, you can see we have another pipes coming out. And actually, it's the same up here. You can see... Actually, no, it's right in here. Where is it? Oh, it's on top, yeah. So you can see those pipes down at the bottom. They come out from there, loop up all the way to here, and you can see there's all these pipes at the top that don't actually connect to that original piping conveyor stream, and that's for outtake. And this goes down here. It actually goes over and across through. This is just sort of like a overhead thing here. But it goes over and across. No gravity down here. That's I seem to have accidentally deleted one of my gravity generators or something. But it goes over and across through those walls into this large storage area here, which is basically the refined material storage, and it's a big old place. And this is actually two storage containers wide. So if we were to fly up to the top, you can see we have a line of storage containers here that goes all the way down to the bottom, and another one here. Here, that goes all the way down to the bottom. So a huge, huge, huge amount of storage in this hallway. And of course, over here, we have yet another set of ladders and stuff going up to that main hallway again. And if we fly down here, this actually leads to a little observation area that's at the front of the ship. And the idea here is that you'd have controls for monitoring those mining detectors or ore detectors, which are actually... Right there's one, right there's one, and there's another observation room below this, and so on and so forth, all the way up and down all these floors. So if we were to fly back out and come down here, down this huge hallway now, we're actually going to go through this doorway, which will lead us back into that first set of stairs. And again, if you follow all the way up to the top, you'll end up in the main hallway again. That's how all the stairs are set up. And if we fly all the way down here, basically... Every level of stairs has their own connector door, like the one we went through a minute ago, that connects to another area. And I guess there should have been a door there, but whatever. This is like a little overpass. You can see that the pipes come across here. That's actually from... what was that? I think it's from, yeah, the unrefined materials has a pipe going that way. And that pipe actually leads down to the hangar area, and that's where those little mining ships would be dropping off stuff there. Is that whatever they drop off in that hangar gets sucked down that pipe to the unprocessed stuff and then from the unprocessed stuff through the refinery to the fully processed area. This little overpass area though here where you can see all the different floors from the stairwell have their own little walkway across. And none of them have a door there, but I've remembered it's because I got double doors there so that airlock can seal off this whole, each section, each different piece of the ship can be sealed off just in case something happens but this is our one of our main gyroscope setup areas so that the ship can still hopefully maneuver it's still insanely sluggish i'll have you know anyway if we fly through well any one of these doors actually because since they all lead to yet another area oop, bump uh 
have trouble getting through those doors sometimes. You can see this actually leads to the reactor area. Now the pipe at the very top floor, it goes over the reactor area to the... Yeah, you can see it way up there. It goes over the reactor area all the way down to that hangar that I was talking about. But this is where fuel storage for the reactors would be. We got, you know, two big rows of these. And actually, that's two big rows of these on each side. So on the other side of the ship, we have another one. And this is the same sort of thing applies for all of these generators here. That way the ship can stay powered for ages. And of course, the pipes that you see here run between all the fuel storage or the generator fuel storage to all the generators. You can see they're all hooked up in some way, shape, or form. And then actually, you see this pipe leads out through the wall. That's so that a larger ship can, or another ship or a station can dock with this, or this ship can dock with it, and refuel these or give away any fuel it needs to to maybe somebody who's in some trouble. And of course, these pipes here that lead up lead actually to the hangar area as well, so that ships up there can refuel their generators. And same for these. These actually lead to the more... Uh, higher ranking official docking area. Now if we come through here, there's another set of ladders that leads all the way down, and we head back up, we can head out and actually take the ship for a really quick spin, because I think I've covered pretty much everything in this ship. You've seen the hangars, oh no, I missed one important thing. I think this might be it right here, it's really hard to tell some of these hallways apart. Uh, I'd say this is probably it. Yeah, this is it. These are sort of briefing rooms, so that if there's any briefing needing to be done, this whole hallway here is set up for that. Each one of these rooms is exactly the same. But if we go down one more floor, and this actually carries on more floors all the way to the bottom of the ship. This is the only part of the only stairwell, by the way, that doesn't have a throughput to the rest of the ship. It, the only way to get to this sector is from the main floor at the very top. And each floor, it looks exactly like this. I wanted to have a sort of beveled ceiling, one of these basically set up like that, but I decided against it because of time and lag and chance of crashing with this map. I was crashing about every minute when I was finishing it off, so decided to leave it there. But hopefully one day we'll see 64-bit and some more... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Anyway, the game will be, it'll run better. And at that day, then maybe I'll come back and rework that. But anyway, each one of these rooms in this hallway has this, well, it's a barricade, but I'm going to pretend it's a bed and then personal storage for whoever would be sleeping here. And each one of these rooms is exactly the same. And you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six rooms on each side. So 12 rooms on each floor. So that's 12 people that could have their own room on each floor. And if we run all the way down to the bottom floor, the actual bottom two floors have sort of more like military sort of barracks where it's way more than one person would be sleeping in there. Now, I don't have any sort of faux restrooms or anything set up in the ship. It's just, um, well, you're just going to have to deal with pretending that there's a secret little restroom th cut out in one of these areas. Or maybe that's what the car the cargo things would also be. It's like maybe doubles a restroom. I don't know. So laggy, I originally wanted to put more rest actual like living quarter stuff in, but I decided against it for time's sake. Anyway, here's the more barracks-like thing. Each person would have their own bed and their own storage thing, but of course they'd all be living in the same bigger room down here at the bottom of the ship. Anyway, I think that's that. I'm going to now run back up to the cockpit, show you how slowly the ship accelerates, and I think that'll be about it. Oh, right, one more thing before I go to the bridge. I've accidentally ran to the wrong side of the ship. This is actually the back of the ship. We have a little balcony thing here, and this is where all of our engines are. We got the gyroscopes here. They actually go up and down the whole length. You can't really see them, but they're back there in this sort of little section here. We got our engines for going down and, and up and all that right there. We got our engines for going side to side. This is, of course, mirrored on the other side of the ship. And then we have our forward thrusters and our reverse thrusters. And, of course, these are actually doubled up here. You couldn't really see that from the little divider wall I have. Okay, now I'm actually going to go to the bridge. Alrighty. So, if I can get the camera to the back of the ship, you'll actually be able to see a really close-up view of the engines. I should have shown these off from the outside, but we have a bunch of communication array stuff here sticking out of the back, and we have our just engines out the back, too. Alright, anyway. Now I'm going to, also on the bottom there, you can see we have some sort of open things there. 
They're actually not open, but they're just sort of interior blocks like that. It's a huge ship. It's really hard to show off because the camera doesn't let me zoom out any farther than this. Anyway, let's try to accelerate and see how slowly it accelerates. For a big, big ship like this, it's not actually that bad, but, you know, most huge ships, you're not going to get very quick acceleration speed. A lot of people have said, hey, why do you keep putting engines on the inside of your ship? It's silly, you know. Uh, if they ever burn through each other, through walls, you know, you're going to have to redo all your ships. And I say, well, okay, that gives me something to do in the future. But also, in most sci-fi things, you usually just see big engines at the back. You look at a Star Destroyer from Star Wars, and you got big engines on the back, and not really anywhere else. That's my reasoning for having the engines inside, is because it just does not look very good. Of course, if they make me stick them on the outside, because they'll burn through stuff, I'll find a way to make it look better, but... I still prefer the stuff to be the sort of sci-fi like Star Wars, usually. Anyway, this is a ship moving. It's super slow. I'd like to crash it, but at its speed, I'd be here for 20 minutes or so just trying to line it up. I could copy and paste something else in. I actually did that with the Gladius. The Gladius versus the Goliath. And it, it was alright. This ship is actually maybe like 40 blocks shorter than... The Gladius, but it's a lot wider and a lot taller. And I don't know, just smash them together. It took an age, and the, because they're so big, the game actually glitches currently. Remember, it's an alpha, and they pass through each other instead of actually deforming a lot of stuff. And then they were floating away from me at an insane, insanely high speed, and I couldn't really catch up to them. Anyway, thanks a bunch for watching. Hope you like the ship. It should be up on the Steam Workshop pretty soon. I have to warn you. This ship can crash your game on load up. I've had my game crashed at least once a day while loading it up just to record this. So if you do go to the workshop today or tomorrow and you find this ship there, download and use it at your own risk. It can crash your game. If you try to build on it, it can crash your game. If you try to recolor it and save it, it might not save because that's what happened to me. That's the reason this doesn't have a bigger bridge also. I want to put a big bridge behind the hangar area way back there at the back just sticking up two or three blocks, but the game is so laggy and prone to crashing in this current alpha, I just decided to hold off on it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, hope you like this ship. Oh, one last thing before I go. Uh, see those little opening ports there on the side? That's actually so you can, the ship can drop off its refined materials, at least the refined material area. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys later.